what do you want to be when you grow up? If you answer this with an I don't know, people may question you, well, what are you interested? What are you interested in? What do you like to do? Fast forward 10 years and you find yourself standing in front of the University of Minnesota and you're still asked the same question. What is your major? If you can answer this in a heartbeat, I, you have my respect. As for me, I continue the search for a good career path. However, I can answer the question, what am I interested in? Helping people has always been an interest of mine, especially working with kids. After doing some research, I decided that maybe school counselor would be a perfect a career path for me. So today I will focus on that. I will focus on its job description, required skill sets, personal traits, and reasons to focus for this, as well as a personal as an ethical dilemma I may face. So a school counselor offers um, help by encouraging students to develop social skills um, so they can succeed in school. This can be done through time management and also good study habits. A typical day requires appointments, phone calls, and walk-ins, much like what you would see if you were to visit uh, <laughs> you put up a seven. If you were to visit um, your counselor. Um, they could also do private they also have private offices which allow you to have confidential conversations with them. They work in public and private schools. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, elementary and secondary schools hire the highest number of counselors with 47%. And um, the lowest is universities and colleges with 19%. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, annual medium wage is 50, around 53000 and this was done in May 2010. Elementary schools have the best paid with 60000 60, and rehabilitation um, with the lowest at 35000 Counselors must have a master's degree in School of Counseling, participate in programs that involve learning how to lead groups and work with uh, different families, with parents, teachers, and they will um, get experience through internship. They should, uh, it requires for them to have a state-issued cred credential, and this would require a background check. <clears throat> So what are some good skills that a, that a counselor needs to acquire? Well, they need to be a good listener, good, have good people skills, and good com communication skills as well. Some personal traits that would be beneficial um, for this career would be to be able to care for your community and to have sympathy and compassion. So one of the reasons that I chose this is, well, because I like working with people. And also, according to the schoolcounselor.org, today's school counselors are are a vital member of the education team. So this shows how significant um, this job really is. So, and also a really good statistic that I found um, with this career, it's uh, from the Bureau of Labor Statistics, is that employment of counselors expected to grow by 19% within the next 10 years. So there will be more demand for them, um, so which means more open jobs. My biggest motivation is being able to go home and say, you know, I helped somebody and I made a difference um, and an, a good impact in somebody's life. However, an ethical dilemma I may face is how, when making it a decision, somebody may not agree with me and think that it's an incorrect decision. To, in order to defeat this problem, I would have to stand strong with my idea and my opinions, but also keep an open mind. So whether I am a future counselor, I am not sure, but I hope today I have informed you guys about the job description, the required set skills, personal traits, reasons for my career focus, and an ethical dilemma. And so now when somebody asks me what I, <laughs> what I um, want to major in, I could probably say a school counselor. Thank you.